welcome back for another Kids Church Live. I am Hillary and I am so excited to be back with you all for another Kids Church. So these have been really fun to do and I always look forward to Thursdays when we get to hang out and study God's Word together and um, just see, okay Lord, what do you want to teach me today? So I'm just getting things pulled up on my computer and it's a little easier for me to, if I'm commenting, comment something with it on my computer. So I'm just getting that pulled up and hopefully some friends will join us today. So a few announcements to get us started. Um, so the first thing I don't want you guys to forget that on Sunday we have worship here on Facebook Live or on calmhope.freeonlinechurch.com slash live. And you guys can watch Pastor John and we're starting a brand new sermon series this week on men and women from the Bible. And that'll go through the whole summer. And so we're excited about that. And um, our kids church lessons starting next week are gonna coordinate with that series. So next week we are gonna be talking all about Noah and um, we're excited for that. So um, yes, this is a, gonna be our last week. We did this a two week little mini series on the Psalms. And so we're gonna read another Psalm today. And I also wanted just to plant it in your mind that Father's Day is coming up soon and we're going to do another one of our little videos that we've been doing. So start to think about if you have a Father's Day message to send in, what would that be? So um, those are just a few announcements that I had. And so... Now I'm going to pray and hopefully we'll have some friends joining us today and yeah, so uh, if you guys would close your eyes and bow your heads and pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for technology and how we can meet this way, Lord, even though we can't be together right now in physically in the church building we know god that the church is so much more than just a building it is people gathered together and so um, we are excited god to jump into another chapter in the book of psalms today and see what you are going to teach us god i pray that the people who need to be here would jump on and join this facebook live and that just everything we do, Lord, would point everyone's eyes to you. And so fill my mouth with your words and help us to pause today, slow down, and just take um, an hour or so to be together in the body of believers. And we love you and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Yay, Luciana! I am so glad that you are here. Um, I started with a few announcements and then jumped in for the prayer. So I will put the supply list for our little craft activity that we're going to make at the end. And... We are going to be talking about the moon and the stars and creation today. And so we are going to use some aluminum foil and some yarn and a whole bunch of scissors and paper to do a little moon and star craft at the end. So as we are kicking off today, if you don't have those supplies, now would be a great time to go grab them. So... My first question for you is, where is your favorite place to be in nature? Where is your favorite place to be in nature? Do you like going to the mountains and playing in the snow? Do you like going to the beach, to the Oregon coast and playing in the ocean or walking along the coast? Um, do you like going to a river or a lake or hiking in a forest? or camping. So 
that is kind of our introduction, our first question. Where is your favorite place to be in nature? So either you type it down below or have a parent comment below for you. And I would love to hear that. Um, I have a few favorite places. I love going to the Oregon coast. Uh, my family, my parents have a beach house and so getting to go to the Oregon coast is one of my favorite places. The beach house is also on a lake and so I love getting to sit out on the back deck and watch the water and I don't know it's just a place that is really peaceful to me and we go there a lot and so it's not like a place that we have to go and do sightseeing and things like that. It's just a place where we can be and see God's creation. I um, took Juan there for the first time at the end of February and we got there in the evening when it was dark out already and we went outside on the back deck and the whole sky was covered in stars and it was just really really pretty. So I love going to the Oregon coast. And I also, one of my favorite places in the Dominican Republic, my second year when I was teaching there, I had, I lived on the fourth floor. And so oftentimes I would go up to the roof and look out. You could see the city, but you could also see the mountains that were surrounding us. And so that was one of my favorite places to look at nature in the Dominican Republic was that rooftop. Um, so Luciana says, I like to go to Mount Hood because it can be really snowy. The snow is super beautiful. I would totally agree, Luciana. And Tully, I see you're jumping on and watching. Tully, our first question of the day is, um, where is your favorite place to be in nature? Do you like to go to the ocean, to a lake, to the mountain? Um, where do you like to see nature? Maybe a park? Do you like going to parks or um, hiking? So Tully, comment below, where is your favorite place to be in nature? All right. The next thing I wanted to mention as we are kind of thinking about what we're going to talk about today and our craft is what do you guys know about outer space? Um, it is kind of an interesting collision of time that we are going to be talking about the night sky and the moon and the stars. Uh, because yesterday they were supposed to launch some astronauts out into space. I don't think they did it because of the weather, but they are working on it. So I want to know, what do you guys know about space? Do you like to look at the stars? Do you like to look at the moon? Um, have you ever looked through a telescope before? Leave a comment below and let us know. Um, Tully says he loves to go. He loves to go to the ocean as well as me. So that's awesome, Tully. So I, when we were little, we got um, a telescope for Christmas one year, which was really fun. And so we got to use that to look at the stars, which was neat. And also, kind of one of my memories with space and things in the sky is a few years ago there was a really cool solar eclipse. Do you guys remember that? Where it was daytime and the whole world went dark for a few moments and that was really cool. And what else? I love just looking at the moon in the sky at night too. Um, and when I was your guys' age, I actually had on my ceiling in my bedroom a bunch of glow-in-the-dark stars and planets. And my dad had arranged them all, kind of how they would be in the night sky. And that was something really cool that I remember from growing up with outer space is being able to lay in bed at night and look up and see all these glowing stars and planets in, on my ceiling in my bedroom. So, um... It was supposed to happen yesterday that they were going to send two astronauts into outer space. And it was the first time since 2011. And so I think it's going to actually happen sometime this weekend, hopefully. Uh, it couldn't launch yesterday because of the weather. But I just thought it was so cool that this kind of monumental thing was happening in our country with 
the space program the same week that we are talking about space and sky and nature. I just thought that was really cool. So to jump into our Bible lesson today, we are reading a story, um, a psalm. Last week we did Psalm 23 and leave a comment below what animal did we study last week at Kids Church? Let's see if you guys remember. So leave a comment down below. What animal did we study during Kids Church last week? We talked about a certain animal. And so this is our two-week mini-series in the Psalms. So last week we talked about Psalm 23. And today we're going to be talking about Psalm 8. And this is a really awesome psalm. Um, all about praising God and his creation. So, um, here we go. I'm going to move over a little bit so you guys can see it. So we have this cute little kind of bug crittery guy and the moon. It says, praise God. It's kind of hard to see with the light. There are lots of poems and songs called psalms in the Bible. This is a special one. Hooray for an, our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. God, you are so amazing and strong and creative. Everyone thinks so, even babies. When I look up at the night, at the, when I look up in the sky at night and see the moon and all those stars that you have made, it makes me extra glad that you care for me. You ask us to work with you to help you take care of everything you've made. And you have given us a job to do, God. You want us to care for the earth and everything that lives in it. All of the animals and birds and fish and sea animals. Hooray for our awesome God. God made you and me and everything else. What a neat psalm. It's pretty short. Um, the psalms are my favorite book of the Bible, you guys. Um, they have these kind of, a lot of the time, shorter little kind of poem songs. And I love this one about praising God. So I want you guys to comment below and answer the question, what are some things that God has made? So leave a comment below, what are some things that God has made? So he's made a lot of things, so you have a few options. <laughs> All right, so comment below, what are some things that God has made? Um, so this section in the Bible talks about how God made the moon and the stars, God made you and he made me. Um, he's created the earth and everything that lives in it. He's made the animals and the birds and the fish and sea animals like whales and um, jellyfish. And so God has made a whole, whole bunch of things. And that's why we need to praise him. And so we can praise him by saying, hooray, our God is awesome. So, like I said, it was a short little psalm today, but really powerful and neat to think about all of the ways and things that we can do to praise God. All right, so did any of you guys remember what Bible, Bible, what animal in the Bible we studied last week in Psalm 23? Any guesses? Anyone remember? So the animal that we studied last week is a sheep and we talked about how God is a shepherd and so we are going to practice our memory verse from last week I'll put it in the comments so that you guys can see it and we're going to practice the motions that we did last week all right are you guys ready so we learned some different sign language last week so the first thing we learned and practiced is the Lord. So we took and made an L. Not for loser, but for the Lord. <laughs> and we went from here to here to kind of signify a sash like a royal person would wear. Because God is our king. 
So we did the Lord is my shepherd. So this is sign language for shepherd. It's like you're shearing, cutting a sheep's wool. And then that. So shepherd, that's what shepherd is in sign language. So ready? Can you guys say that first part again with me? The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Psalm 23, 1. All right, let's say that two more times, okay? The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Psalm 23, 1. All right, one last time, our memory verse from last week from Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Psalm 23, 1. So that was our memory verse from last week. And this week's memory verse is, guess what, about the moon and the stars. All right. And Tully says that God made us, animals, food, water, paper, everything. Yes, he made paper, which we don't even, I don't always think about. Like, wow, God made everything necessary for paper. He made food. I love eating yummy food. God made a bunch of yummy food. He made water. He made everything in the world, which is really neat. All right, so our memory verse for this week is Psalm 8. Three. Psalm 8, 3, and it says, I look to the heavens which you made with your hands, and I see the moon and the stars which you created. All right, so it's a little bit longer, but it's such a powerful one to remind us, wow, um, God created everything around us. And that shows that he is powerful and he is mighty, he is creative, and those are things we don't want to forget. So it first says, I look. You're going to point to your eyes because that's what you used to look. I look at the heavens. And we're going to do this for heavens. Because the heavens are above us. Which you made with your hands. So I look at the heavens which you made with your hands. We're going to kind of move them a little bit. I see the moon and the stars. So those are like the stars which you created. All right, so we're going to break it down and go over it a few times, okay? So make sure you're saying it out loud at your house. It might sound kind of silly to do that, but it helps us remember the Bible verse. It helps us remember God's word and write it on our hearts because all these verses, you guys, that we're memorizing and learning, um, when we are in trouble or hurt or scared or maybe when... Um, when we need to encourage our parents or our friends or our teachers or our family or someone at church, God will help us remember these Bible verses that we've been memorizing. And when we are struggling or having a hard time, he will help bring them to mind. All right, so let's practice it again. I look at the heavens which you made with your hands. I see the moon and the stars, which you created. All right, Psalm 8, 3. So we're going to say it three more times. All right, this next one we're going to say really quietly. So whisper the Bible verse, okay? I look at the heavens, which you create or made with your hands. I see the moon and the stars, which you created. Psalm 8, 3. Okay, we just did it quietly. That means now we're going to do it super loud, okay? Say this Bible verse as loud as you possibly can. But make sure you're doing the motions with it, all right? Ready? One, two, three. I look at the heavens which you made with your hands. 
I see the moon and the stars which you created. Psalm 8-3. Awesome job. I think I could hear you all the way in my apartment. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna do it one more time at a normal volume. Make sure you're doing the motions with it, okay? I look at the heavens which you made with your hands. I see the moon and the stars which you created. Psalm 8, 3. All right, memorize that Bible verse this week. I'm really excited about that one. Okay, now we're gonna jump in and do our craft and activity for the day. And um, I think it's always a really good idea to do something to not just read the Bible, but do something with what we read. It helps us remember the Bible stories. And so last week we made these really fun fuzzy sheep. And that reminds me, Psalm 23 is all about sheep. And so now we're going to do Psalm 8, 3. And hopefully this will help us remember that Psalm 8 is all about everything that God created. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of paper. I am using cardstock, so it's just a little bit thicker, but any piece of paper will work. And we are going to draw the moon. Okay, so you're going to draw a big crescent-shaped moon. I think I forgot to have a pencil on this ply list, but you'll need a pencil. All right, and so you're gonna draw a big moon. I think I'm gonna do it this way. So it kind of, I'm starting off and it kind of looks like a big C. And then, going like that. All right, can you guys see that? So step number one is to draw the moon. Draw the moon. All right, and next we're going to cut it out. So we're gonna kind of make um, like something that you can put on your wall in your bedroom that has the moon and the stars on it. All right, so then you're gonna use your scissors and cut out the moon. Here is my moon. Okay, next we're gonna cut out three stars. So we are gonna cover the stars, so it's okay if it has lines on it. So I'm gonna make the stars pretty big. Um, if you don't know how to draw a star, it's kind of a series of lines. So start by making a diagonal line up and then making a diagonal line down. So it's kind of like you're making an A, the letter A. And then you're going to go across. Straight line over the top, and then connect them. And there is my star. So you're gonna make three stars. So again, maybe if it will help if I use a pen that's a little darker. All right, you're gonna go first make like you're making an A. So we have the beginnings of an A, kind of a wide A. <laughs> and then you're gonna go cross, 
and then this is a straight line. And then you're going to connect the two points. All right, there's star number two. And now we're going to do star number three. Again, you're going to make like a wide A. And then you're going to go diagonally across. And then a straight line. And then connect the two points. And so we have three stars. Oops. They're kind of wonky, kind of funky, not perfect, but they're beautiful because they represent God's creation. All right, are you guys at that step? Do you have your three stars drawn? Are you ready to move on? That kind of rhymed. All right, next we're going to cut out the stars. And again, we're gonna cover these in aluminum foil. And so it's okay if they are not totally perfect and if they have the lines on them still. Here's my first one. Kind of funky and wonky, but really cute. So we're just cutting them out. As we are cutting, I would love to know, did you guys do anything fun as a family on Memorial Day? Memorial Day was Monday. Had a bit of a shorter week. Did you guys do anything fun as a family? You could also put it that way. <laughs> Let's see. On Monday, we had a youth movie night, which was pretty fun. And. So I was working on that on Monday, and then also on a Sunday, we hung out with my parents at a park, which was really fun. Neat way to spend some time with family from a distance on Memorial Day. But normally, I, we love to go to the beach for Memorial Day, but we didn't this year. <laughs> Okay, so now I have my three stars and my moon. Okay, are you guys at that spot? Do you need me to wait? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take aluminum foil and we're going to cover our stars and the moon. So I pull off a piece that's big enough for the moon. And I have my glue stick. And so I'm going to take my glue stick and put it all over the moon. So we're going to cover the moon in glue. Which you can't say very often. <laughs> that's not something that I can always say. So I'm covering the moon with glue to help make the tin foil stick. All right, so we have our moon covered in glue, and then I'm just gonna take it and put it on the tin foil, glue side down, and I'm just gonna push it down. So the glue side, I pushed down onto the tin foil. All right, and then you can either cut out 
around it or you could kind of fold it onto the moon. So you could just go around and trim it or you could kind of fold the edges over a little bit. I heard somewhere that using scissors on tin foil sharpens your scissors. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. So we have our moon, and so I'm just going to kind of start folding the little bits around it. So. I know, I just feel like this gives it just a little bit of a cleaner look on the front. I'm just folding along the edge. We'll see how this works with the stars. <laughs> and you could, if you want, cover the back side as well with tin foil. So fun! Or, I'm going to make just a few little snips to make it easier to fold. Um, but yeah, you could cover the whole back side with tin foil as well. If you wanted. Kind of depends on like where or how you're going to put it in your bedroom. Point got a little funny. There we go. All right, so now we have a really cool shiny moon. So fun. So if you wanted to, you could tape the back or you could cut another piece and cover the back, all of the back. But I think I'm just going to leave mine like this. Okay, next we're going to make um, and cover the stars. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take a piece of tin foil and you're going to take your stars and you're going to cover your stars in glue and put them onto the tin foil. Covering the back of my star with glue and then pushing it onto the tin foil. I'm going to do that with all three stars. So the stars, you guys, are going to dangle to hang down from the moon, which I think is going to look really cool. stars are glued down. And I think for the stars I'm just going to cut out around them. First I need to cover my glue so it doesn't go dry. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. So this time I'm just going to cut around the outside of the star. The tin foil is cool because it looks really like spacey, I feel like. Cut out. 
think I'm going to need to add a little bit more glue. <laughs> so there's my first little star. How fun! So this is what the back side looks like. So I left just kind of like a little bit of a border. You guys see that? Okay, star number one is done. Alright, star number two. It's kind of hard cutting with the big piece. So I'm just going to cut out star number two the same way. I decided I'm not going to fold over any of the tin foil. I'm just again leaving a little thin border around the outside. All right, how are your guys' projects coming? Leave a comment. Are you with me? Am I going too fast? <laughs> Alright, here's star number two. Super fun. And again, there's the back side. It just has a little bit of a border. Alright, and now it's time to cut out star number three. Space is so interesting to me. My computer background every day is a new picture. It just changes automatically. And this week, it's funny, it's been putting pictures of space on my computer. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of neat. Have the whole galaxies. Okay. All right, and here's star number three. <coughs> so, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hole punch on my moon. I'm gonna put three hole punches, and so then we're gonna use yarn to hope and we're going to hole punch a star and hole punch here and they're going to dangle down so that'll be really cool so first i'm going to hole punch my moon so i have to kind of think about okay do i want it to go this way or this way i think i want it to go this way and you're going to want to space out your holes a little bit so that um, the stars will be kind of spread out down below. So I'm just going to do three hole punches. My hole punch is really old and it doesn't have a back to it. So I'm trying to grab the, the little bits. Maybe I'll do it over my desk and then show you guys. So again, you'll want to make sure that they're spread out. All right, so here is my moon now, and it has three little holes. Perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is punch the stars. So you should have three stars, and so kind of think about, okay, how... How do I want them to dangle? From what point do I want them to dangle? And so I'm kind of thinking about how am I going to arrange them? And I kind of originally had drew them a little bit more wide, but I think I'm going to um, hole punch them a little bit taller instead. So like originally I thought this one was going to go this way, but I think I'm going to do it vertically. So then you're going to put a hole punch in the top of your stars. So 
So I'll hole punch it down here and then show you guys. So like that. You see the hole punch? So you're going to hole punch all three of your stars where you want the top of them to be. Here's my next one. See my eye through it. <laughs> and then we have one more. All right. So now all three of my stars have holes in them. So my moon has three holes and my stars have three holes. So next you're going to take your yarn or your string and you're going to put three different pieces of yarn in the holes of your moon. So I'm just going to thread it through and do a little tie. I have this really cool yarn that's multicolored that I found at church that I'm using. And it's kind of blues, which I thought would go along with the night sky. So can you see that? And then I'm just going to cut it really long. So I'm going to cut it extra, extra long. And I'm going to tie off the three bits first on the moon. So I have one done. Now I'm going to do the middle hole punch. You can see that? Now I have two, and again, I'm going to make it really, really, really long. <laughs> okay, and then next, I have one more. yarn is coming unraveled. If that happens, you guys can put a little bit of tape on your yarn. It'll make it more like a needle. <laughs> okay, so now we have three strings coming off of our moon. So now we're going to tie on the stars to these strings. And you can do them all at the same height, or you could do them like shorter, middle, longer, or you could do the middle one longer and these two shorter. So you can kind of think and play around with how long you want the strings to be. So then you're going to tie off. each star I think these are turning out really cool you could also if you wanted make the or write with a sharpie on the moon the bible verse that would be kind of a neat thing. All right, so here's my first star. So cute. All right, now I'm gonna do my next star, the middle star. And I think I'm gonna leave this one a little bit longer. Not 
too, too. So be sure and when you finish this project to have your parents send me a picture, an email of how yours turned out. I would love to see those. It's always really fun for me to see what you guys come up with. Alright, so there's my second star dangling just a little below that one. Now I'm going to do my third one. And it's complete. How neat is that? So you have all these fun little stars dangling and flying in the sky. And you could, if you wanted, put, like I said, more aluminum foil on the back sides so that they, you can have the shiny part on both sides. Because they fly a little bit more than I thought they would. <laughs> But a super fun reminder that you guys, God made the moon and the stars and he made you and me and he is powerful and creative and um, it's our job to praise him. Super fun. So I am going to pray to close this out. So if you're not done, if you guys would pause on your cutting and gluing and tying and we're going to pray. Oh, Father God, I thank you for Kids Church time. I pray this message was encouraging. I pray that our Hope Kids would um, just never forget, Lord, that you made and created the whole world. Um, and you made and created us too. And it is our job to praise you and to take care of your creation. Um, I thank you that when we look in the sky and when we look at the mountains and when we look at the ocean that we see how powerful you are, God. Uh, draw us close to you, keep us safe, protect us, and help us to share about how awesome you are with everyone we know. And all God's children said, Amen. So thank you guys for joining for Kids Church. I hope you had fun. Again, I would love to see your creations. So be sure to email them to Hillary, H-I-L-L-A-R-Y, at comhope, C-O-M-M-H-O-P-E dot org. Um, so I can see um, what you guys did. And those are always really fun. Don't forget to join us next Thursday for our new Kids Church series going through men and women of the Bible. We're going to be talking all about Noah and him being stuck in a boat and how through stormy times, God is faithful and reminds us um, that he is good. So thanks for joining and I will see you guys next week. Bye.